Partnering with companies and subcontractors is an essential piece of growing your business. However, if they aren't covered properly, you could be stuck with the consequences. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can prevent that. Hi, it's Chris from Barry Insurance. Having insurance is, of course, the best way to ensure your business is protected from various risks. However, in certain situations, like when partnering with another company or hiring subcontractors, you will need something extra to protect your business. When entering a partnership with another business, you open the door to a whole set of new risks, especially if your new partner isn't insured properly. This is why you will need a certificate of insurance or COI to make sure that they have the proper insurance if something were to go wrong. Here at Barry Insurance, we have helped several clients obtain certificates of insurances to help protect them while partnering with other businesses, partners, and clients. We have also helped clients navigate through claim situations after working with a partner with inadequate coverage. So in this video, you will learn what is a certificate of insurance, do I need a certificate of insurance, why do I need to give my certificate of insurance to vendors or clients, and how do I get a certificate of insurance. What is a certificate of insurance? A certificate of insurance is simply a document that proves you have insurance coverage. It can be for any type of business insurance, but it is usually used for general liability and workers' compensation coverage. The certificate of insurance includes details like company name, insurer name, type of insurance, policy numbers, policy effective dates, and coverage limits. The certificate of insurance proves to others that you have insurance and are a minimal risk to work with. A certificate of insurance can help bring peace of mind to those who are considering a partnership or working with you or your business. Keep in mind a certificate of insurance does not guarantee active insurance coverage. It is simply a snapshot of your coverage at that specific time. Do I need a certificate of insurance? Whether or not you need a certificate of insurance is dependent on your role in relation to the other businesses you work with. If you are a subcontractor, vendor, or any business performing services on another business's behalf, you will need to provide a certificate of insurance. If you are hiring a subcontractor, vendor, or any business to perform services on your behalf, you will need to obtain a certificate of insurance from the subcontractor. Here are some more specific examples of by who and when certificates of insurances should be used. As a contractor, when bidding a job. As a subcontractor, when bidding, working on a job. As a business, renting or leasing any equipment or vehicles. As a business, taking out a line of credit. As a business or contractor looking to get bonded. As a homeowner, hiring a contractor to do work at their home. As a building owner who will be renting space to others. As a landowner who will be allowing others to use their property for an event. The purpose of obtaining a certificate of insurance is to make sure the person doing the work for the other company has coverage that is comparable to their own. So in the event of a claim, the subcontractor's insurance will cover the hiring company efficiently. If the subcontractor does not have proper coverage, the hiring company would have to pay for the claim. Companies that use subcontractors would also need to obtain certificates of insurances from their subcontractors as well. The company will need to provide their certificate of insurance when being audited at the end of the insurance term. If they are not provided, the hiring company will be charged as if those contractors are employees. Why do I need to give my certificate of insurance to clients or vendors? Oftentimes, a client or vendor may request to see your certificate of insurance before choosing to work with your company to ensure that you are covered in the event of a claim. Who got my back? I got your back. This is because the hiring company would be on the line to pay if a subcontractor is not properly insured in the event of a claim. A certificate of insurance is key to entering partnerships with other businesses. Without it, other businesses will be hesitant to partner with you. You should also request to see a potential partner certificate of insurance as well before signing any agreements. Even when working with someone you trust or know, you want to make sure that they are properly insured so you don't have to worry about any out-of-pocket expense. How do I get a certificate of insurance? Generally, your commercial insurance company or agent will supply you with your certificate of insurance for free. Simply contact your agent or carrier and give them the name and address of the hiring company requesting the certificate of insurance and their insurance requirement. As long as the coverages match up, 
the agent will provide a certificate of insurance. If your coverages are inadequate, you will have the option to purchase the additional coverages. If you decline it, you will most likely lose the bid for the job. However, sometimes subcontractors will purchase the additional coverages and add it on to the cost of doing business, so the client pays for it anyways. Building strong partnerships is essential to building a thriving business. As long as you know how to use your certificate of insurance, there shouldn't be anything standing in your way. Join me. Imagine what we could accomplish together. If you have any other questions regarding your certificate of insurance, do not hesitate to reach out or drop them in the comments of this video. If you want more information on certificates of insurance, check out the video linked below on what to look for on your certificate of insurance. You can also check out our Learning Center for more information on certificates of insurance as well as many other insurance topics. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more insurance education. We post videos like this weekly to help people become informed about navigating the world of insurance. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.